Hi, this is Tamara Drake with TV, bringing you the latest news from Mendocino County. By the unanimous declaration of the Mendocino Board of Supervisors on Tuesday, Board Chair 3rd District Supervisor John Pinches will sign a letter and speak later this month at the State Water Resources Board hearing on the implementation of Assembly Bill 885. My name is Stacy Cryer. I'm the Community Health Services Branch Director for Health and Human Services. We're here today to talk about the proposed implementation of AB 885 by the State Water Quality Board. We have serious concerns about the implementation of AB 885 and the costly ramifications it might impose on the residents of our community. The nearly decade-old legislation regarding on-site wastewater treatment system regulations will soon go into effect and many said will have a costly and detrimental effect on septic system owners in the state, especially in rural areas. The genesis of AB 885 was in Southern California in the 1990s, where poorly designed septic systems polluted beaches. AB 885 was passed in 2000. Regulations have been written and are currently going through the sequel process. During public comment, several local construction workers, including Lee Howard, Eric Crane, and his father, Ukiah City Council member Doug Crane, all voiced their displeasure for the new regulations. No more privies. It's specific in here. You will go with these systems. The problem is that, again, the legislature has come out with a cookie-cutter approach, a statewide approach. Frankly, there's a reason why there are nine regional water boards, because different regions have different concerns and different problems and different watersheds. And uh, the North Coast is unique in that sense. This is a horrific piece of crap. Even with his presence requested at a water board meeting in Santa Rosa on January 27th and a strongly worded letter in the pipeline, Pinches didn't seem to think either would bend the tenure of the appointed board. I'd like to see it take to the point where we actually we threat litigation with the state of California on this. Because I really believe that the state, they've already, these bureaucrats have made up their mind they're going to impose this. And uh, they don't give a damn what Mendocino County says. In other related county news, we had the opportunity to speak with Sheriff Tom Allman and talk about the difficult budget times the Sheriff's Department is facing. The best we can do at this point is do everything we can to cut costs, as in overtime, reduce mileage, uh, reduce general office expenses. Um, last pay period, we put in the appropriate paperwork in each office to take eight hours off our 80-hour um, pay period. And on a lighter note, in our own Mendocino County version of what not to wear, stripes are in. Our inmates are, uh, they are issued clothing by the color which allows our employees to immediately, uh, upon sight of the inmate, know what classification there are. We found, and I found that many of our gang members who are in custody were re wearing the red coveralls and for people who are aware of gang colors, some gang members want to wear red, and some gang members don't want to wear red. They would prefer blue or another color. So uh, the more things change, the more they stay the same, and, and I guess, but uh, we've gone back to the black and white stripes. For administrative segregation prisoners, we have a pair of pants, a two-piece unit here, and a silk screen, Mendocino County Jail, and so, what we've been able to do is we've taken away the red coveralls from people who may be in a gang and they're wearing black and white stripes. This is Tamara Drake with TV. Check back often for more local news.